This demo will show you some basic functionalities of the map designer with some scenarios. Suppose a system developer Alex wants to edit the map. In the main page, he can click on Fetch. After waiting for a while, the initial data of load segments from the third party is saved in our system and shown on our map. Alex can edit the data by clicking on the annotations. To get more precise data, he can switch to a satellite view and zoom in. He can click on the white dots to create a new waypoint and remove them by clicking on the red cross on the left panel. He can drag on the gray dots to adjust the current waypoint. He can also create a new lane on the segment, drag it to the proper position, and flip the direction with the toolbar on the bottom of the panel. If he wants to remove a lane, he can simply click on the Remove button to accomplish this. Alex can input the attributes of a segment or lane in the JSON editor. If there is a missing segment, he can even create one by clicking the Create button on the top and pick the waypoints. After editing is done, he can click on Save to persist the data in the database. Now Alex wants to create a new road element called Traffic Lights, but the system does not know what a traffic light is. So he can use the Metadata Editor page, where he can create a dynamic schema comprising of important attributes such as name, ID, and SVG code. The OSM mapping field defines where to get the data from. Now, the schema for traffic light is saved in the system and the corresponding data can be downloaded from the mentioned source. Note that this can be done for any new road element which might need to be added in the future with the help of our dynamic schema. Alex can use the filter to let the map only show the type of data that he cares about, such as the traffic light, for easy and focused editing. In the long run, multiple developers will work on multiple regions at the same time. After all editing is done, Alex can click on the export button to get the data in the Cosmos format, which is the map format of CMU. This can be passed to the passenger app to generate roads for the self-driving car. In this example, let's assume Alex wants to test the car for a trip from the cave to the nearest giant eagle. Alex now enters the destination. Various optimal roads are generated based on the attributes provided by Alex in the map designer. The vehicle now requests the passenger app for the road via a rest call. Here we can see the response in the form of waypoints. In case the vehicle wants an alternate road, that is provided as well. 